Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today we're taking a look at a 1144th high grade, the Nobel Gundam. The Neo Sweden fighter from Mobile Suit G Gundam. Despite the fact that it's a Japanese schoolgirl. Whatever. Uh, I decided to pick this guy, girl up. This girl, not guy. This girl up because my local hobby shop had a bunch of them where the boxes were damaged. They marked them down to 11 bucks a pop. I took the least damage of those boxes. Why not? Sounds like fun. Add it to my G Gundam Master Gun. Let's have a look. Now, starting off... Very simple kit. You can build this in a heartbeat. Okay, not a heartbeat. But you can build this in a day easily. There are some stickers. The white lines you see around the collar, that's stickers. They are really good stickers. That, if I didn't point that out, you may not have even noticed it. It has a sticker for the center of the bow on the chest. Can't believe I said that. The garter on the left thigh is also a sticker. Again, can't believe I said that. Um, if you want to paint it, you can, but you don't need to. And stands pretty much fine. Some lining to do, nothing major. Like I said, the stickers aren't as bad as I was expecting, quite honestly. And if you really wanted to paint, you could. But I think they look better with stickers. Uh, high heel shoes. Yeah, yeah, high heel shoes. High heel boots, high heel feet, whatever. Uh, they will pop out of the ankle uh, connection a lot when you're posing. Do you got some painting to do. Here you see the hair or the fins or whatever the heck they are, the back, whatever. The point is... That's got to be painted. you got to do a whole bunch of lining on the back, and the entire inside has to be gray or black. I just went with the dark gray. Connection on with a ball joint in the back of the head, and there's a little tooth in there that'll hold it in its place from the, if you want to have it straight down. But you can turn it from side to side, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot, so you can get a lot of posability out of the hair. Again, can't believe I said that. Comes with an action stand, white action stand. Multiple connections for something else, which I'll show you later. Uh, see the other connection. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, connection right into the butt. Yeah. Uh, the lining on the back. Some gaps to kind of fill in. You can you don't have to fill those in. And like I said, the entire in part of the hair needs to be painted gray. Uh, extra hands. You get the open style hand. You get the peace hand or the V for victory hand. Um, also get beam sabers, but they're not really sabers. I'll show you why in a bit. Because you get this thing, or these things, rather. These are beam ribbons. Not double O ribbons. Beam ribbons. And they give you three different sizes. The big giant... Ah, fly! 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 Anyway. They come on this thing. And you just peel that off, and they give you two little short segments, like the straight-up beam saber ribbon things. You peel those off, and like they come in three different segments. The tight, tight swirl, the medium, and the wide swirl. Now, what you got to do is you got to bend one end of the ribbon and stick it in there. If you don't bend it, it'll pop right out. But if you fold it over backwards just a tiny bit and plug it in, it'll hold it. And you give this little base thing so you can connect the beam ribbon, the other end of it, and move it out so you get a nice big spiral. Which is neat looking. And you can have it just swirling around with the big wide one or the short narrow one. You can do lots of different things with this thing. It's different, I'll give you that. A beam ribbon, anyone? I mean, come on. And peace out! Sorry, I just had to do that. They also give you two hands, which are not for the Nobel Gundam. This goes to the high-grade G Gundam. This, these are a pair of cradling hands. What are you cradling? Cradling? Pardon me. The Nobel Gundam, of course. Just lay her in there. It really works surprisingly well. I thought this would be, you know, impossible to work out. You do need an action base to do this, or that action stand they gave you with a front piece. Because now he's the G Gundam is super front heavy, so he's going to fall over if you don't have the action base, or use that action stand they gave you. Like I said, they have a connection just for this purpose. I already have an action base, so I don't need it. But if you wanted to pull this off, you do need that stand. And here's how I'm going to have him pose. You know, Fun Psyche, Master Gundam, Nobel, G, all in one little shot. Looks good. Final thoughts on this kit. For 11 bucks that I paid, 
I can't get, give this a, not give this a thumbs up. This is a really good kit. It requires some work. It's a tad sticker heavy, but they give you an action stand. It can do all sorts of neat poses. It's got some interesting, although might not a lot of accessories. The hands are nice. The ed, the uh, hands they give you for the uh, G Gundam to create that cradling pose are real nice. Like I said, these three kits, the Master, the G Gundam, and the Nobel, are all kind of linked together through different parts. Uh, the G Gundam can go on Funsaiki. It can also can, uh, cradle the Nobel Gundam if you have that. It gives you the different pieces. So they're kind of all go together in one set. Uh, there's also a Berserker mode of this kit. If you wanted to get that, more power to you. But I like this thing. The beam ribbon is weird, but it's novel. I'd love to see a master of this. I don't think it's going to happen. Prove me wrong, Bandai, please. Thumbs up. Good get. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this enjoyable. Hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Please stay tuned for more. I always got more reviews coming. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I will defeat you in the name of the moon. Uh, I'm going to send you to the Negaverse. Am, am I drunk? <laughs>